Hello everybody, and we're going to have a look at The World of Dinosaurs, the Definitive Illustrated Collection by Dr. Mark A. Norell. Now, this is a more of a modern book, so I won't be able to show the whole thing uh, due to copyright issues. And again, no copyright intended. All artwork belongs to their owners. And this was published in um, uh, 2019. So this is a nice book. It's more catered to adults or young adults. There's a lot of um, fossils and famous um, exhibits. In museums and this yeah and um what was i gonna say yeah that's right mainly focuses on um dinosaurs from north america or other prehistoric life so i'll skip through is that sue yep and that's Sue there. So the book does, talks about different groups, different eras, and also we'll talk about specific species as well. And it's a really nice um, piece there of the Lophosaurus. Kind of looks like it's just waking up from a nap and scratching itself. I did find this a few years ago, and I and I found it at um. We'll get to that one in a minute. And I did find it at a like just a small little bookshop. So I picked it up. I don't usually buy modern books as often. One, there's not as many bookstores around. Obviously. Um, I used to like buying books from the book depository, but now that's owned by um, Amazon. So now and again, I'll pick up a modern book. But I'm, if, when I'm usually in the stores or there's like a bookshop, I don't really like what's out there at the moment. But if I see something kind of like this with some nice artwork, some good text and not overly um digitalized I'll, I'll pick it up so just glancing through i do recommend this if you see it as i said it's a mix of fossils real life fossils exhibits and some artwork and i thought i i thought i'd bookmark this page because it's quite interesting how sorapelta was discovered in the in the mine and yeah, it's a good good story with the, with this with this um specimen so that's why i've highlighted that it's a shame that when they excavated by accident they damaged that back bit but at least they were able to preserve its head. And yeah, this page yeah, blew my mind. Look at all the amount of fossils in this in this big room. And he's working on that, it looks like, and that's going to take forever. But look how many like, fossilized specimens. So many. We get some playback like this, some vintage goodness with uh, Charles Knight, probably one of the most famous pieces of paleo art ever created. So, 
yeah, overall, I didn't want to show too much, but here's a little bit about um, Dr. Mark A. Norell, if you want to have a little read. But overall, um, really a lovely, a lovely book. More modern, so it's good to show something a bit different than always the vintage stuff. So, yeah, I'd recommend this if you see it in a bookshop. Uh, if the price is right, I highly recommend um, picking it up. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.